Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a love reading for Taurus singles. So we're going to take a look at your next relationship. Remember that these messages, they are general. They will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So Taurus, I'm going to jump right into it, and we're going to look at your next relationship. So Spirit, what will be Taurus's next relationship? Taurus's next relationship. Okay. I have it's complicated. Let's get some more messages. I have a new love. Okay, Taurus. Get some more messages. I have empty handed. And I have chemistry. Okay. What I see here, Taurus, is I heard love triangle. <laughs> Your next relationship will be a love triangle. Um, I feel like with this new love, there's going to be a new romance coming into your life. I feel like you and this person, you're going to get along very well. You're going to really connect with each other. Um, I heard like it's fun time together. It's like you're really going to develop, I heard emotional, a deep emotional connection. Um, it's going to feel like you know this person your whole life. I heard like a lifetime. Um, but at the same time, Taurus, with this new relationship that is coming in, there's going to be something from the past that is still trying to hold you back. There's going to be someone who cannot let you go. There's going to be some interference from a past connection. So let's pull some more messages to go a little deeper. I feel like this person from the past, there's definitely been some back and forth, some on and off energy. This person has never really given you what you wanted, what you needed when it comes to a serious commitment, um, a stable connection. And it's like now that they see you moving on to better, they're having difficulty releasing you. They're having difficulty letting you go. Spirit, give me a message for it's complicated. I have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. This person cannot offer you what you want. This person is unstable. Um, Sphere says they don't have the means to please. <laughs> they don't have the means to please. So it's like this person really can't give you what you want. Financially, emotionally, mentally. It's like this person really cannot match you, Taurus. I feel like you may still have feelings for this person, but you have accepted the fact that it's just not going to work between you. I heard like evolve. You've accepted the fact that the relationship just is not going to grow. This person is never going to be in a place where they can offer you the love that you deserve. Let's get a message for the Queen of Pentacles. Spirit, tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. I have temperance. Yeah, you waited a long time for this person to change. You waited a long time for some of you years. You waited years for this person to change. You were more than patient with this person, but things just never worked out the way you wanted them to. You never got what you deserve. Spirit says the short end of the stick. So yeah, Taurus, you always got the short end of the stick when it comes to this relationship. Spirit, tell me about new love. I have the five of swords. 
there is definitely going to be some conflict. For some of you, you have a child with this past person. And there may be some issues when it comes to um, this person using the child in this situation. It's like there's going to be some type of conflict. There is going to be, for some of you, unfortunately, there may be some conflict between your old person and this new person there may be some words said between them two um for someone spirit says like physical blows it may actually get physical between them i heard i bust the windows out his car so yeah there may be some property damage like for someone this is not going to be a smooth transition at all there's going to be a lot of chaos because this past person just refuses to let you go they refuse to just accept the fact that it's not going to work so they're going to try to sabotage this new relationship but i heard worth fighting for so yeah, this new person, they're worth fighting for. They're worth the effort. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Spirit, tell me about the Five of Swords. I have the Ace of Cups. Yes, because this new person is going to do it for you. They're going to do it for you, Taurus. Yes, emotionally, you're going to just be so happy, so fulfilled. I heard complete. You're going to be complete. You're going to feel complete with this person. This person is going to check all of your boxes. This is going to be a relationship where there's true love, true devotion, where this person is just willing to pour, to give to this relationship. And again, I heard it's worth fighting for. Spirit says you're worth fighting for. This person is worth fighting for. Your relationship is going to be worth fighting for. Let's get a message for Empty Handed. I have the nine of wands in the reverse. This past person is going to want to come back and finally give. Someone from your past is going to come back and they're finally going to want to give to this relationship. They're finally going to want to right their wrongs. But I heard too late. It's going to be too late. The ship has sailed. I heard it's over now. <laughs> so yeah, it's done. It's a done deal. I have the six of swords in reverse. So yeah, this person, this is definitely someone from the past that's going to want to come back and finally give. They're going to want to reconcile. They're going to want to do over. But like I said, interference, as they are coming back into your life, you're going to meet this new person that you're going to really connect with. So there's definitely going to be some type of chaos for some of you. Let's get a message for chemistry. Taurus, I have the star. For some of you, this new person may be an Aquarius, but yes, I heard a love like no other. Yes, this person is, I heard like you're what they've been waiting for. They are truly going to value you. This person is going to value you. They're going to treat you like the king or queen that you are. Like this is really going to be a very healthy and stable relationship. You're finally getting everything that you want with this person. This is you, like your dreams coming true. You're finally getting everything that you want with this person. This person finally sees you. Where this past person may have taken you for granted, this new person isn't. They're going to value you. They're going to appreciate you. Spirit, tell me more about the star. I have the nine of pentacles in the reverse. For some of you, what I'm getting with this nine of pentacles is that this person is going to want to take care of you. Like, Taurus, you're not going to have to do much when it comes to this relationship. Um, again, I heard more than enough. Like, this person is going to be more than enough. They're going to have more than enough. For some of you, this person is very financially stable, very well off. And it's like, you're not going to have to do anything. 
Like this person is going to want to take care of you. They're going to want to provide for you. This person definitely will have more than you financially, you know, in terms of stability. So yeah, this person is going to want to take care of you. They're going, they're going to want to do for you. They're going to want to be that breadwinner and, you know, really just take over and be there to meet your every need. So let's pull some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about Taurus's next relationship. I have going with the flow, chill, patient, not moving, planning, next move, okay. What I'm getting with this, I heard naturally. This relationship is just going to be happen very naturally. This is not something you're going to have to force. This is just going to happen naturally. Look at what I have, Taurus. Yin and yang. You and this person, I heard like perfect match. Yeah, it's going to be very balanced. This is going to be a very balanced and healthy relationship. And like I said, you're not going to have to force this. Like where in the past you tried to, you know, make this relationship work and you know, you were really pouring out all of your energy, just trying to make things come together. You're not going to have to do that with this person. Like I said, this person is going to want to take care of you. They're going to want to do for you, Taurus. You can just sit back and relax. This person wants to meet your needs. I heard your wishes are my command. So yes. The Spirit says every wish. Let's get another message. I have not keeping it real, secrets, deception, ignores reality, hidden feelings. Yes, especially ignores reality. This past person is not going to be able to accept the fact that you're with someone else. They're not going to be able to accept the fact that you're with someone else. Spirit says they may pretend like they're unbothered, like <laughs> you being with someone else doesn't really bother them, like they're cool with it, but in reality, they're not. It upsets them. I heard cry at night. For some of you, this person may secretly cry about the fact that you're moving on. And they may not tell anyone about this. They may just keep their feelings hidden, but it's going to bother them. Yes, it's going to upset them the fact that you you are moving on and I heard aggression. For some of you, this person is very aggressive. So be very careful. Spirit says keep your business to yourself. Let's pull another message. Oh, I have twin flame. Runner, chaser, triggers, intense past connections. Yeah, I feel like this past person was a twin flame connection for some of you. That's why it was difficult for you to let go. That is why you had that up and down, back and forth, seesaw type of energy. But again, I heard child, do not be surprised when this person tries to use the child or the children to get close to you or to interfere in this new relationship. Yeah, I heard never going to let you go. It's going to be very difficult for this person to let you go, to accept the fact that you're moving on. I heard single for some time. For some of you, you may have been single for a, a long period of time. Um, and this person is just used to you being by yourself. They never really thought that you were going to meet someone new. But it's like now that you finally have, it's just going to be very difficult for them to accept. So let's pull some overall advice towards. Yeah, and I keep getting never going to let you go. Yes, this person does not want to let you go. This person lives a lot in the past. They have difficulty letting go of the past. I have keep it fresh and interesting. So yes, Taurus, don't be afraid to try anything new. Don't be afraid of change. Yeah, her stubborn. I know Tauruses can be very stubborn at times. I'm a Taurus rising, so I understand completely. But yes, don't be afraid to try new things, to um, keep things fresh, to just, you know, spice things up a little bit. Do things that are a little bit different, that are a little bit out of your comfort zone, Taurus. Yeah, just to keep the relationship you know, interesting and just to show this person that you're open, that you're open to new experiences. The next message I have is show him your best qualities. So yes, 
show this person your best qualities. Do not be so protected or protective um, that you end up putting up a wall and closing off, shutting down when it comes to this new relationship because out of fear of being hurt, being rejected, out of fear of repeating the past. It's like, no, don't be afraid to open up. Don't be afraid to, you know, show this person the best part of yourself towards. Let's pull one more message. Look at what I have. Make him feel wanted. So you yeah, made this person feel wanted. Again, showing this person the best part of yourself. Making this person feel wanted. Making this person feel appreciated. Not closing off. Do not sabotage this relationship, Taurus. Be open. You know, you have learned from the past. You have healed from the past. Now it's time to move on and to be open to new experiences. To be open fully to embracing a new relationship and giving and all as well as receiving love so taurus these are your messages i hope they resonate stay true to thyself and real with thyself grow with me as i grow with you everyone stay blessed